Greetings all, Scully here, welcome you back to our free-to-play run of Star Wars The Old Republic. And in this episode we're going to be dealing with Lieutenant Pierce, figure, figuring out what his story is. But before we get started, I wanted to show you guys where I would have put him if I was uh, doing it. There's a room over here where Brunemark is standing. Right here. I think I would have put a table right here and maybe had him working on uh, some weapons or something like that. Uh, I think that would be a little bit better than just having him hang in the, the bay, but uh, that's just kind of a, a choice, preference. So we'll go ahead and get started with uh, Lieutenant Pierce, see what he's got to say. My lord, drop my things in the crew bunks. Good ship. Quinn's already briefed me. I'm handling demolitions and heavy firepower support. Didn't know the captain ran things around here. I'd rather take my orders direct. Do you have a problem with the captain? By the book types get under my skin. Moff Hurden was all about regulations too. War Trust did a lot more damage than they should have. Hurden didn't think a soldier could strategize. Proved him wrong. In what capacity did you serve him? Special Ops, holdout squads, suicide missions. Whatever no one else could do. Doesn't matter much now. I'm here and Hurden stuck on Taris. Give me the freedom he didn't, and you'll see results. The others will tell you. I accept only the best. Shouldn't have any problem fitting in, then. Every friend I come to brag about this post has already heard of you. Never served under a Sith Lord before. Not sure how promotion works. Heard a few tales, though. How do you think things are done on Korriban? Seems like there's one way to make it, and a hundred ways to screw up. Might have been easy to get this far. Might have been a war. Either way, good story. I've killed rivals every step of the way. Good move. Might betray you, frame you, even kill you. Not so different from the military. Cross the wrong people, and they assign you to some graveyard swamp like Taris. That post was a dead end. Got out by threatening to blab about Moff Hurden's Rodian mistress. I'm surprised Moff Hurden put himself in that position. His fault. Too soft to kill me when he realized. Don't worry. Dead men don't get promoted. No, I've said this before. But I kept my mouth shut for a while now. Time to speak up. Quinn betrayed us once. Long as he's alive, he could do it again. Puts the whole crew at risk. You may hate Quinn, but you and the crew are perfectly safe. Hard to serve with a man you don't trust. Wrong crew can make or break a mission. In Black Ops, everyone knows their job and does it. No room for screw-ups. We were the go-to squad. Assassination of Moff Tarek. The massacre of Haroon Kal. Operation Force Crush. All us. What happened to your Black Ops team? Treaty of Coruscant. Black Ops was disbanded. Everyone reassigned. Dumb move. Good team. Hitting the right targets. We were gearing up for some serious assaults before we were shut down. Like the Bastion. Huge Republic military complex on Corellia. They say it can't be taken. We would have done it. Sounds like an ideal target for the Empire. Corellia is one of the Republic's founding planets. Could never get close. Should get back to work. Been your ear about this long enough. Well, he definitely has a problem with Quinn, but uh, as we were going through our story arc with Quinn, you know, I've pretty much forgiven him for what he's done, so uh, hopefully this guy will eventually as well. My lord, glad we have a moment. Something we need to discuss. Got a message from General Racton. You might have heard of him. Most decorated commander in the Empire. Seems the Empire set their sights on Corellia. They want Black Ops leading the charge. Me and the old team. He could command anyone in the Empire. Corellia's the real deal. Core world. One of the Republic's founders. Gonna take more than the latest batch of recruits to claim it. Black Ops soldiers use their brains. General asks for strategy. Told him we could take the planet with one target. Sebastian. 
You and your team may be the most qualified. Ready, willing and able. We've been planning this assault for years. The Bastion's the center of operations for the entire Republic military. We'd be cutting their legs out from under them. The Republic's plans fall apart. Morale disappears. By the time they get their Canucks in a row, Corellia will be ours. What exactly will this mission entail? Lots of planning. Gonna need weapons. Reinforcements. Tech. My team can handle the preparations. General Racton will give us the order. All I need is your leave. Inform the General that you have my blessing. Yes, my lord. Thank you, my lord. First steps tracking down the old team. Could be at the four corners of the galaxy by now. It'll take some time. Let you know who I find later. And again, that's kind of a, a missed opportunity for us to get off the ship and enjoy a little bit of combat. I have to say, so far, I'm not really enjoying this story for Lieutenant Pierce. And I don't blame the actor. I, I would have to say it'd fall into the, um, the person that's actually writing the stories. I think the actor's done a pretty good job as far as his voice goes. Got a few leads on the old Black Ops team. Republic won't let the Bastion go easy. It'll take all of us to claim it. Best to start with Lieutenant Tenido, weapons man. Could turn a hyperdrive into a gun turret if he wanted. Let's it all go to his head, of course. Can't open his mouth except to brag about Black Ops and our wins. What purpose will he serve in the Bastion assault? Only way inside the Bastion is the gate. Supposedly impenetrable. Tenido swore he could break through. Took a while to track Tenido down, but he's stationed on Hoth. Finally got a clear comm signal today. You're welcome to listen in. After a few months defrosting blasters, Tenido's probably in rare form. And then he had me forcibly removed from the armory. Over a few flash grenades. Weapons master indeed. And after you calibrated all the assault rifles for him too. Shame about those cadets though. Yes, that was unfortunate. But how was I to know those rifles were for training? They really should use slaves. Anyhow, that's how I ended up on Hoth. Scraping ice from blaster barrels and reheating ammunition. Pathetic. On Korriban, we use certain officers for target practice. Then again, Hoth has its charms. The ice crystals form some marvelous patterns. Maybe you should start tinkering again. Get that weapon you built for the Bastion out of storage. You know very well that weapon's finished. It's waiting for the assault that will never happen. The lieutenant volunteered your entire team. We've got clearance from General Racton. The Bastion's ours for the taking. Then it's fallen into place. The Bastion, after all these years. I'll get back to base and start making arrangements. When I have the weapon, I'll contact you. Tenido doesn't like to waste time. He'll have that weapon quick as a Minox wings. Just in time, too. Let the man idle any longer. And he might do some real damage. You have your weapons, man. What's next? Tenido's weapons will help, but we'll need more than firepower for this one. Assault this big takes reinforcements too. Get back to you about those. Plans for the Bastion assault are coming along. Tenido's got the weapons ready, but having the right ordnance is just the start. Gonna worry about numbers, too. That's Lawrence's job. Captain Lawrence now. Connection's got her a good post on Balmora. Bend the rules a lot in Black Ops. Lawrence could always smooth things out. Pretty face. Way with words. People like her. High praise, coming from a man like you. Just stating the facts. Others might say more. Lawrence a favorite of Moff Galvin. Close to retirement now, but he could give us an army if he had the mind. Ask Lauren about her chances. Seemed to think she could convince the old man. With the right favors. How did Lauren become Moff Galvin's favorite? Lauren spent an evening with Moff Galvin as a lieutenant. By morning, she was a captain. Now it's got her putting on airs. Actually ordered me to calm her. Better get to it, eh? There has to be another way. Moff Galvin has resources, but what he's asking is impossible. 
The favours I would have to give him now, it would be above and beyond the call of duty. Never stopped you before, Captain. The old man's depraved, and the years have not been kind to him. Surely Moff Galvin wasn't your first promotion? No, the others were earned, like any good Imperial officer. You were Black Ops once, before that commission went to your head. Remember? We do what's necessary to get the job done. Some of us more than others. I'll come, Moff Galvin. Reinforcements will be ready when the time comes. Wouldn't want to be Laurent right now. The captain made her bed. Now she must lie in it. With Moff Galvin? There's an image I didn't need. Security's our last problem. The Bastion will have plenty of systems. Black Ops had a man for that too. Let you know when I find him. Okay, I did get a kick out of that last remark you made. Almost ready for the Bastion now. Security's the last wrinkle. Takes a good tech to deal with Republic systems. As is Sergeant Arlos. Rookie. Always trying to prove himself. Near ruined him when Black Ops shut down. Took to drowning his sorrows in the nearest cantina. Sobered up quick when I told him about the Bastion. Surely we can do better than some washed-up drunk. Kid's not washed up. Just misses the work. Besides, he's brilliant. Arlos could barely aim a blaster when he joined Black Ops. We gave him strength to go with his smarts. Made sergeant after our last assault. Could be up for a commission if things go smooth at the Bastion. The Bastion could become your greatest failure. Only if we all die. Won't matter much then. The Bastion's got some serious security. Alarms, cameras, turrets, the works. Anyone could get us around them. It's our loss. Heard from the kid a few days ago. Said he had some intel ready. Sounded more jittery than ever. We'll find out why. But I can't account for cheap Republic shortcuts. Who uses a closed circuit system? In the Bastion, no less. Heard better excuses for my assault rifle. Did you even get their schematics? No, yes, partly. I have the ground floor layout. That should get you all the way to Central Command. And what surprises will we find there? That's supposed to be your job, Arlos. If this is Black Ops strategy, I'm not impressed. But if you could see their code, my lord, not to mention their wiring. I'm starting to think we were shut down for a reason. And the reason was you. There's something else I could try. It's risky, but I'd get full control of their systems. The Bastion will be ours before we even step inside. Just give me another chance. Hope so. You screw this up, and I'll personally take it out of your hide. Now get back to work! Schematics look good. With full control, Republic won't have a chance. Kid did all right. Never tell him that, of course. Might make him sloppy. Got to keep him on his toes. You said security was the team's last concern. Prep work's finished. The team's ready. Soon as General Racton gives the order, we strike. Just hope it's soon. Can't wait to see those Republic flags burn. Uh, I'm not too sure about the mission now. I haven't seen uh, the way the Black Ops is handled, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Got a secure message from General Racton. You'll want to hear this. My lord, I received Lieutenant Pierce's con. I've reinstated Black Ops and excused the team from their prior assignments. If all the preparations have been made, you have Imperial clearance for your assault on the Bastion. Had a feeling this was it. Hard to believe we're finally making our move. We have no more time for preparations. Don't need any, unless racton has got some surprises. Due to the massive Republic presence at the Bastion, we've made special arrangements to get Pierce's team within range. You'll infiltrate a shuttle of Republic reinforcements headed for the area. We've already procured the necessary disguises. Surprise is essential. Therefore, I must ask that you remain behind, my lord. Your presence would expose our plans. I'm sure there's a Republic uniform in my size. They'll have Jedi along. No uniform would hide your power. You made this assault possible, my lord. The credit is yours, should Pierce and his team succeed. The Empire is trusting Black Ops with our victory. I hope it is not misplaced. General Racton out. The team has their instructions. Have to leave now if I'm going to make the rendezvous. 
When the Bastion falls, the Republic will know our power. So will the Empire. Just how I like it. Gates open, security's down, and the CO is dead. The Bastion belongs to the Empire. Welcome to Black Ops Victory, my lord. Long odds, big prize, no survivors. Were all your preparations worth the effort? Hit a few snags. Tenido's weapons lost power. Couple of Laurent's men died. Arlos tripped a system hacking in. Took a bit of damage myself. Going to take some time to heal. Let you know when I'm up for a full debrief. Yeah, I kind of feel like we're being left out of the loop here as another good example of where we should have been able to get off our ship and have a little fun. Got a comm from the team. The Bastion's back up and running with Imperial flags. Of course, Quinn has to run his mouth. Thinks Corellia's unstable. We'll never hold it. Jealous if you ask me. Our assault on the Bastion's part of history now. Perhaps the Empire will reinstate Black Ops permanently. Your mouth to their ears, my lord. But first duties to you. Swear Arlos built that security system himself. Never seen Laurent command so many. And when that gate came down, Tenido's finest hour. Just like old times. Flexed a lot of forgotten muscles out there. Should improve my skills in the field. What have you learned from storming the Bastion? Accuracy, timing, coordination. Where the enemy's weak and how to exploit it. Black Ops earned its name at the Bastion. Appreciate the chance. Been thinking. You'll always need someone in the Empire. Someone who knows how to get things done. Was hoping I could stay on board, make this assignment a little more... permanent. You're mine until you fall in battle. Or I dispose of you. Rather die here than serve someone else. You've got a good group, but more will come. Apprentices, officers, your own battalions. You'll need training. Leave them to me. You will have the strongest army the Empire's ever seen. You'll go farther than any Imperial before you. Already there, my lord. That was kind of a harsh statement. That's not really what I was expecting him to say. Oh, we're done already? Good hunting. Well, I don't know. The voice actor, I think he did a good job, but I think that story, in my opinion, was probably a bit lacking. I really would have liked to get off the ship and actually spent some time with him. But, uh, yeah, I think that'll do it for this episode, and uh, I think next up is... Brunmark. That will be the last one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and this is Scully signing out.